Hi everyone, I'm Julie, founder of MrsMojo.co.uk, which I set up to help frazzled mums become fabulous. Now, I have to warn you, in this video I am going to reveal the hidden nasties that is in most of our food and are getting in the way of your willpower when it comes to trying to be healthy. They are also stopping you and your family from being healthy, happy and confident. I was absolutely horrified when I learned the truth and I'm sure you will be too. But first of all, welcome back to the second video in my Get Your Mojo Back video training course. Um, if you missed the first video, then do not do not despair. Um, you can still get access to it by clicking the video one button below. Um, in the video one, I did explain, basically it was all about exercise. So I explained what you should be doing to try and find time to exercise as a busy mum. Um, it was a great hit, so thank you so much for all of your comments and questions and feedback. Um, I do appreciate them and like I say, I'm doing my best to answer all of those as I can. Um, but exercise isn't the only thing that we need to do to feel healthy, happy and confident. What we put into our mouths can affect how we feel about ourselves, our confidence and our future health. Now, we all know that eating too much food, as well as eating the processed foods out there, such as crisps, chocolate, donuts, cookies, cakes, whatever, all the other so-called treats out there, they don't do us any favours, but we still reach for them, especially after a hard day at work or a hard day with the kids, after sleepless nights or a whole week of sleepless nights, or if we feel like we deserve a treat at the end of a very, very hard day. But believe it or not, it's not a matter of willpower when it comes to these um, treats, the sweet treats, and I really hate that phrase, but more on that later. Um, you can try your very, very best to resist these treats, um, the chocolate bar at night, the crisps, but it is easier said than done, as you may know. Now, your food is full of hidden nasties, which are getting in the way of your willpower. They are stopping you and your family from being healthy, happy, and confident. And there are some real shockers, so be warned. Right, I've talked about um, before about aspartame, which is also known as the E number E951. Now, don't worry, there will be a PDF that you can download with this video, which just got all of the top information. So you don't need to take notes necessarily. So aspartame, it can cause high blood pressure, seizures, depression, numbness, aching muscles and dizziness. Now, pretty much these things you don't want to have and you don't want your kids to have, right? Well, aspartame is in over 6,000 food products that are out there on the shelves in our supermarkets. I have found it in most fruit drinks, most sweets, and even in a lemon and lime water that one of my clients was drinking every single day thinking that she was being healthy. Um, pretty much anything labelled as sugar-free may have aspartame in it because if it's labelled sugar-free, it generally means it's got added rubbish, okay? Avoid it at all costs if you can. Now, saccharin, also known as E954, um, is another shocking hidden nasty. This was an anticipated human carcinogen for many, many years. Now, what this means is it was suspected that it may cause cancer. Now, recent research has put a bit of sort of doubt over this and they seem to think that it may not cause cancer. However, if you want or if something personally, if something may have been able to cause cancer, it's still not something I want to eat yet. It's in loads of our foods. And again, the research, and this is me with my journalistic hat on, who has paid for the research to say that it's not going to cause cancer? So just be aware of that, especially with the lots of things that you may read in the paper. There's a lot of research out there that has been paid for by the food manufacturers themselves, and I'm not saying they can. Um, they, they, I'm not saying that they can sort of tweak the evidence, but they can certainly cast doubt on evidence. So just be aware of that. So back to saccharin. It is known to cause irritability, insomnia, 
headaches, itching and diarrhea. So again, day-to-day -day things that you generally do not want to have. Um, you're sleep deprived enough as it is with your kids, never mind adding saccharin to you, um, causing insomnia. So a client came to me, she had really bad skin and really bad tummy pains and I sort of had a quick chat with her, just a very, very quick chat about her diet and I noticed um, when I was in her house, she made me a cup and she put some sweetener in her tea. I says, oh, do you not have sugar? Oh no, I know, I know all of the bad things about sugar, so I'll stick to my sweetener. And I looked at her sweetener and sure enough, it was one of the sweeteners that is purely saccharin. So I said, right, okay, you need to cut this out of your diet, ASAP. Um, so she did. She stopped using it and switched to unrefined organic cane sugar instead. And within days, her skin had cleared up and she no longer had any upset stomachs whatsoever. Another shocking hidden nasty to watch out for is monosodium glutamate, which is also MSG. Now, MSG is an isolated amino acid and it is used a lot in a lot of foods as a flavour enhancer, which is addictive. So MSG is addictive. Now, it's linked with obesity due to the effects it has on the part of your brain that is linked to appetite. So basically, it's addictive and it's telling your brain that you're not quite full when you are and it's causing a lot of people out there to overeat. So you basically become addicted to the foods that have the MSG in them and you become in a state where you want to overeat and it's, it's nothing to do necessarily with you, it's the MSG's effect on the part of your brain that controls appetite. So, what this means to you is you're eating more of the food that you don't need when you're not even hungry and it's addictive, so you want to eat more of those foods. So basically, no good for you at all. So MSG is, has an E number, E621, okay? And the bad, shocking news is that by law, it's only required to be listed on ingredients if it is in its pure form, okay? So it only has to be listed on your ingredients if it's in its pure form. So believe it or not, I found it listed in its pure form in the brand of stock cubes that I used to use. And again, I thought they were not bad stock cubes, found MSG in them, don't use them anymore. In fact, I've since found it in most of the gravy granules and gravy products. And recently, I was at a talk um, for my little boy who's about to start primary school. And it was a talk by a health and wellbeing officer who worked for the council and he was there to sort of give you ideas as to how you can give your kids healthy snacks, healthy packed lunches and just to give an example of what they teach kids in school. And one of the mums, when they came to talk about snacks, um, said, yeah, okay, I know I'm not supposed to give them crisps because of saturated fat, which again, there's loads of research that just shows this is all bad information, but more about that later. Um, so I gave my kids quavers and the guy said, yeah, quavers are fine. I had to stop myself physically from getting up and shouting and saying, what on earth are you saying that for? Because quavers, one of the main ingredients in quavers is MSG. And remember, it only has to be listed if it's in its purest form. And it is listed in quavers. So I was just gobsmacked at this guy. I was horrified and I literally, I did. I had a word with him afterwards and said, look, why on earth are you as a supposed health and well-being officer telling parents to give their kids quavers as a snack or as part of their pack lunches. Again, MSG is in Snacker Jacks as well. I used to try and eat Snacker Jacks when I'd put on weight just before I got married and I was trying to lose weight. And again, this is all before my nutrition expertise. I used to think, oh yeah, Snacker Jacks are healthier than crisps. I'll eat Snacker Jacks. There's MSG in Snacker Jacks. Um, I used to eat loads of the Snacker Jacks thinking I was healthy, now I know why, I totally became addicted to them. If you think MSG is bad, then unfortunately it's got a partner in crime. Um, their partner in crime is called free glutamic acid. Now this causes the same problems that MSG can cause, so again, it's addictive and it's affecting your appetite, making you want to eat more. Free glutamic acid is present in yeast extract, hydrolyzed protein, whey protein isolate, soy protein isolate, carrageenan and most natural flavorings. Now, if you see the word natural 
on a food packaging then you will think it is healthy and this is what the food manufacturers rely on you to think it's not the case there are lots of natural ingredients out there that are not good for you and the free glutamic acid in its form especially in the natural flavorings is not good for you now I have stopped eating because I found um, free glutamic acid in my food healthy suppose, supposedly healthy Dorset cereals I couldn't believe it was in there but do you know what it's in, a t it's a, it's in one of their variations of muesli I found it in my favorite healthy-ish oat cookies so yeah I'm a human I like to have a little snack now and again and I'd found a nice oat cookies and I thought do you know what if I haven't got time to make my own I can have these no found natural flavorings in them I also found it in my f one of my favorite 85% dark chocolate brand now again we all know dark chocolate's good for you especially 85% plus it has low sugar which was good but what else did it have natural flavorings and again I had become addicted to this chocolate so I was having two squares a day now I know why and the last one is Marmite now again a lot of nutritionists out there or supposedly diet experts I have found recommending Marmite as a good um, spread to put on your sandwiches for packed lunches it is made up pretty much purely of yeast extract yes it's got the added vitamins but added vitamins to foods are not really any good for you they don't do what they should it's there's lots of research to say they don't actually know how much of the vitamins get into your bl bloodstream so you're better off eating fruit and veg for your vitamins so yeah so marmite is pu pretty much made up of yeast extracts i.e free glutamic acid so yeah now you know why they say on the adverts you love it or hate it and if you love it you can actually become addicted to it i just pretty much made this video because I want to educate you as to what you are putting in your mouth like I say before I did my nutrition course I was still I was sort of a, I've been a fitness coach for many many years and I still used to think oh do you know what I'm human I'll have one of these I'll have one of these yeah I'll give my kids a milky bar and what have you now when I check all what's on the, those packets I just think I cannot believe I gave those to my kids and um, I really don't want to sort of have a go at people and I certainly don't want to have a go and as, as if I'm coming across as sort of you must stop eating this or you must stop eating this it's your decision I just want to make this video to inform you of what can happen one of the things I know that mothers do like I say is they rely on sugar as maybe a reward or as a pick-me-up for getting through a bad day so if you're doing that and there's one particular thing you keep on craving then I'd like you just to check the label and see what is listed on there and um, because you know what there could be a lot more damage that's been caused to you from eating that food that you're craving and um, I know it's hard saying no to your kids when they want sweets and to be fair I don't deprive my kids fully because I've gone down the thinking that if I say no to everything that I know is absolutely full of rubbish then there's going to be a time in their lives when they rebel so what I tend to do is we have a really healthy diet um, for the majority of the time if they want these so-called treats I make sure they actually really are treats that are healthy and we talk about it in a way that they can understand and in a way that they know it's good for the body or it's not so good for the body and one key thing I like to say is either everyday food or sometimes food and um, so that I'm not labeling anything good or bad and um, so they do they can have they still go around at Easter time and get chocolate eggs off their aunties and uncles and grandparents Halloween poor our neighbors give them so much stuff to be honest most of it ends up in the bin but I will siphon through it and let them still have other bits that they, they want and obviously Christmas do you know what they get some stuff at Christmas as well I just like I say make sure that they know what this food is doing to them rather than rather than deprive them fully and um, I also make sure that I don't call it a sweet treat like I, like I mentioned earlier that phrase absolutely does my head in it's not a sweet treat a treat is meant to be something that is good for you and that really makes you feel wonderful inside and that is nourishing you yes it might be a sweet but it's certainly not a treat so we actually in the house call it rubbishy food or rubbishy sugar or just generally rubbishy food because it's not just sugar that's the enemy here um, and again we try our best to keep our diet full of quality meat fruit 
veg and good quality dairy products just to sort of balance out the times when I do let them go for the rubbishy foods. Uh, I do know that this is a lot to take in and I sincerely hope that this video has helped you just be aware of what we're eating and may not be um, so sure of and I hope it's given you lots to think about and like I say there is a PDF to go with this one that you can download because there's so much information in there and because I've got a quick little exercise that I would like you to do for this coming week. So what I'd like you to do is have a look down the supermarket aisles and um, especially sort of the processed foods so your um, ready meals, your cheese strings they're all processed food and your other sort of cheaper meats. I'd like you to go down the confectionery aisle if you can, if you can brave it, so checking out the, cho the crisps, the chocolate and the biscuits. Maybe have a look at the soft drinks and cordials, have a look at those, all of your prepackaged meals, um, your refined baked goods such as your cakes and your donuts um, in the bakery sections and your low fat foods or your so called healthy option foods. Now I've noticed Tesco have recently started to put um, lots of what they deem to be healthy snacks at their tills and the checkouts rather than the sweets. Um, unfortunately, I don't know who's picking those healthy foods but they're actually n not that healthy. So if you want to have a look at those and see what's in those labels as well. Um, we've got your cheap sausages, your ham, your bacon, your burgers and your pies as well. So just have a bit of fun with it. Again, it's not to sort of say, oh, you shouldn't be eating this. It's just to make you more aware of what you're actually putting in your mouth. And I'd love to know what you find out. And it's just like a bit of fun, I say. But yeah, please get in touch. Let me know what you find out in that little exercise. Okay, so that's all for now. If you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them in the, the boxes below. And of course, I will be checking them as often as I can and getting them back to you. If you think that the information in this video is of um, interest to your friends or you really think you'd like to pass it on please share it the more people that see it the more the merrier um, I really want to make it my mission to help you mums out there just be healthy happy and confident and like I said earlier what we put into our mouths has a big effect on that um, thanks for watching and in my third and final part of your get your mojo back series I am going to, going to be revealing um, how to be motivated, so how to stay motivated even when you've had two hours sleep, it's cold and dark outside and your kids are running riot and take care.